A car of mass m travels at a constant speed up a slope at an angle theta to the horizontal as shown in the diagram. A resistance and friction provide a resistive force F. What force is needed to propel the car at this constant speed? Okay, so the car is traveling up a slope at a constant speed. Constant speed would mean that it's in equilibrium. And equilibrium means that all the forces acting on the car must be balanced. Okay, now let's look at what forces do we have acting on the car. This is the resistive force, which is already shown on the diagram. And we need to find the force needed to propel the car. The force needed to propel the car. This is actually the driving force, I can also call it as the driving force, the force that's actually making the car move up the slope. This is the force needed to propel the car, or let me call it as the driving force. This is what we need to find. Okay, so, so far we have the driving force up the slope and the resistive force down the slope. What else do we have? What other force is acting on the car? There is always weight acting on the car. And the direction of weight force would be straight down. Weight force is always active downwards. Now, this is an inclined plane, a slope, right? So remember, in slope questions, you need to resolve the weight into its components. You need to resolve the weight force into its horizontal and vertical components. And how to do that? The two components should go like this. You know, one of them should be perpendicular to the slope and the other one should be parallel to the slope. Something like this along these lines. So if I draw those two forces, they should be uh, like this. Okay. Now let's name these two forces according to the angle. This would be the angle theta. Remember, if you do a little trigonometry, whatever the angle is over here, you will get the same angle over here. So according to the angle, this force can be named as W cosine theta and this one as w sine theta. Okay, so I just resolved the weight into its two components. Now, moving back towards equilibrium. The car is in equilibrium, meaning the forces on the car are balanced. So let me consider all the forces along the slope. So I can write an equation that the driving force is equal to W sine theta plus the resistive force F, right? The driving force is up the slope and W sine theta and F are down the slope. So the up forces are equal to the down forces. That's how the forces are balanced. And that's it. That's our answer. W sine theta plus F option D. Instead of W, the answers are written as MG. So it's the same thing. I can say MG sine theta plus F. And that's my answer.